Hi everyone, welcome to our 30 day backbend challenge. Today we are gonna work in our chest stand. Basic exercises, get used to feeling weight on our chest and especially on the throat. So before going into the chest stand, we are gonna do the upper back and low back stretches that we have been doing during this challenge and then go to the couch. So yeah, today we are gonna be working our chest stands with the couch and for the chin, you are gonna be needing a tissue bag. This will protect us from fully scratching it. If after the class you have any questions, as usual, feel more than welcome to comment below. So let's start bending. In your tabletop position, we are gonna inhale, enter in your cow pose. And exhale, cat pose. Inhale, cow pose and exhale cat pose now inhale cow pose exhale here take a deep inhale and on the exhale bring the hands forward and we're gonna softly sink our chest down take a deep inhale and exhale hold it here five little bounces coming from the chest four three two and one beautiful come back into the tabletop position take a deep inhale and exhale now we are gonna have back the foam roller with us go into the child's pose but the hands are gonna be on top of the foam roller also check that you have enough space to go forward with um, the foam roller palms can be facing each other they can also be facing towards the floor what it's important is that your elbows are not bending take a deep inhale and then on the exhale you slide into the puppy pose and try to sink your chest down inhale come back to the child's pose and exhale slide and every time we slide we want to get closer towards the floor go back into the child's pose and again one more and then we are going to stay in this stretch on this puppy pose variation looking towards the hands for one two three four five six seven eight nine ten beautiful come back into the child's pose now we are going to be using the sofa or bed or a chair to work farther in our shoulder and upper back let's meet into this variation of the puppy pose where hands are on top of the sofa and the knees we try to have them around the same line as the hips we're gonna look towards the hands now take a deep inhale you enter in the cow pose so you wanna look towards the hands and my chest wants to come forward and down so pinch the shoulder blades together and then on the exhale I go into the cat pose look towards the belly button inhale cow pose exhale cat pose beautiful let's do two more like this and then we're gonna add an extra spicy cue um, that it's gonna help us stretch in our lats good now go into your cow pose here we are gonna go into the cat pose but trying to skip the armpits in the same height as we have them now so it's really working isolating with the back and that should stretch your lats very nicely you can drop the head to relax the neck and hold it here for one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and beautiful shake the shoulders the arms and let's go directly to the cow pose take a deep inhale exhale and inhale sink the chest and here try to pinch the shoulder blades together to open your thoracic spine a tiny bit more look towards the hands to engage the neck muscles and hold it ten nine eight seven 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Do a couple of circles here. Shake the shoulders if you need to. Do whatever movement. It basically feels good on you. The next exercise we do it a lot in the Mongolian Contortion Center, and that's the prayer stretch. So I would recommend if you have ankle weights to have them next by. I have here one kilo each, so it's a two kilos. You can even put like up to four kilos, five kilos. It depends how strong you are. Like if you have tight muscles in the back, probably you want to put more weight. We are gonna place the ankle weights if you have them on top of the shoulder blades. If you don't have them, simply do the same movement without them. Hands are together, hence the prayer pose because it simulates as you were praying. Now take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, we look up all the time. Pinch the shoulder blades together and sink your chest down. Nice. And here you can do little bounces, bringing the chest towards the mat. And hold it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And bring the chest even more down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Come out and remove the ankle weights. Now we are gonna start focusing in our cobra pose. And the first exercise is gonna be active lifts with the foam roller. So grab the foam roller and let's meet in the center of the mat. So we lay down on the stomach and the arms are gonna be on top of the foam roller. They can be really close to the elbow, like here, palms facing down. And basically what we are gonna try to do is lift up to our cobra vertebra by vertebra. We are not gonna hold it up, so I want that it's fluid. It's really like a flow mode, let's say. Also, if you have a long hypermobile neck like me, you want to at first bring the chin to chest and only release the head at the very end. If your neck is short, the muscles are stiff, you still need to stretch, that's perfect. It's gonna be easier for you to access the upper back and you are gonna start in this exercise bringing the chin up first. Choose your variation and let's go. Inhale deep and exhale and vertebra by vertebra. We come up, open your chest all the way until your maximum range. Look backwards and then come down vertebra by vertebra. Try to engage the lower part of the body. Super important. And again, five of these. At the very end, don't forget to activate your core muscles so you don't yank on the low back. Three more. Two more. And one more. Now we do one and this time, yeah, we are gonna hold it up and you can then move the hands closer to your upper body so you can uh, move them away from the foam roller. Inhale and exhale. Activate the booty and try to get a bit deeper into your cobra. If you want, you can try bring the feet towards the head and then down. And come down vertebra by vertebra from the sacrum to the low back, mid back, upper back. Eventually, forehead to the mat. Beautiful. Very nice. Now, we are going to place the 
feet together like in a diamond shape, forehead to the hands, and we are gonna give an extra activation to our booty. Take a deep inhale, and on the exhale, lift the knees up from the yoga mat. Beautiful. And now here we are gonna extend one leg and extend the other leg, and the knees don't touch the mat. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feet together and little bounces up. Knees still don't touch the mat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Beautiful. Take the chance pose. Mm, lengthen the spine here. You can move the hips from one side to another. And in our next exercise, we are going to grab the yoga blocks and place them next to the wall. Have the blocks like one finger away from the wall. And we are going to place the knees on top of them. Feet rest on the wall. And from here, we are going to go five times up into our cobra. You probably want to start with the hands not so close to the chest, but a bit more forward, so you can access easier your upper back. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, same movement. We really want to open the chest, bring elbows in. Vertebra by vertebra, go up and look backwards. Breathe in and breathe out. And now see if you can pop the chest, like bring the chest forward. And then the head backward. Vertebra by vertebra, come back down. Beautiful. If this was easy, bring the hands a tiny bit closer to you. Let's go for four more. Inhale deep and exhale. And come slowly down. Three more. See if you can gaze your feet. Slowly, slowly, come down, two more, open your chest, and the hips stay all the time on the mat, I don't want anyone lifting the hips, then you are cheating. And your triceps should be on fire if you are really Targeting the upper back. Now, on the last one, we are going to try to bring the feet towards our head. If they don't touch it, it's okay. It doesn't happen anything, but we want to build that muscle memory, that movement of bringing the feet towards our head. Inhale deep and exhale. Let's go. to head and then back to the wall five times and we are still touching the mat don't leave the hips higher come down nice on the next round, we are going to put the blocks a bit higher and they are going to be next to the wall. So our knees going to be here on top of them. And we are going to do the same movement, but just three times. And at the very end, on the third round, we bring the feet towards our head. Here as well, at the very beginning, you may want to start with the hands a bit more forward and then see how it goes and if you can bring them closer to the upper body. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Mm. 
Beautiful. Second round. Down. Vertebra, vertebra. And then now we go for the third round and feet to head. Five times. Mm, beautiful. Good. Now, if you feel your low back, pause the class, do a plank pose for 30 seconds and then come back and join us for further cobra exercises. Now we are gonna work in our active cobra. So you need to have two blocks next to each other and we are gonna do 10 times, come up and down. On the 10th, we are gonna hold it in the highest position for 10 counts. So now we are having the blocks below the hips because of everyone's body is different. You may need to adjust the blocks to the height that works for you and allows you to lift up. And if you're falling forward, it probably means your blocks are too far down. So bring them a bit closer to your hips. Tag the pelvis at the very beginning. And we are gonna go up and down. Hands can be next to the ear, behind. And I really wanna squeeze my booty here at the very end when I lift up and the legs stay active all the time. Four more. Two more. And the last one, hold it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Now we are going to bend our knees and grab the feet from the inside and come into our bow pose. Here, open the feet a bit wider to stretch farther your chest and then close the feet a tiny bit. Open the feet. Close and open. Beautiful and I hope you're feeling a nice stretch in your shoulders, chest. Breathe in and breathe out. Hold it ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come back down. Chest stands are a tiny bit tricky because if your low back is very flexible, you have big chances that you will just junk in your low back. In the chest stand, we have, as the name says, we want to be having some weight here. And our contact points are going to be the chin, then we have the throat, the shoulders. And from the chest stand, what we usually do in contortion is then we go to the chin stand. And on the chin stand, it really goes deeper on the neck. Farther on in this challenge, we are going to learn other drills and we are going to practice the chest stand and the chin stand in, with the wall, with the blocks. Today we are going to stick with the couch and we are just going to do the same drill for three, four times until our body gets used to it. And then at the very end, as optional, you can try to do one more set with the ankle weights. So first I'm gonna go on the couch and I wanna have this part of the body already on the couch. And what I don't want to is that I feel like I have too much weight backwards. So we really need to find for each of us, for our type of body, what's the right distance between um, the couch and where we place the chin. And at the very beginning, it's gonna feel heavy on the neck. That's a fact and you cannot avoid that. So this is why we do this exercise to start feeling comfortable, stretching the neck and having weight on it. So my belly button is on the couch and now I'm gonna place my chin and the shoulders.
Okay, this was the first round. First round always feels horrible, to be honest, in my opinion. On the second round, if you felt like on the first round you still had like a bit of weight on the low back, like you know that the hip, they were leaning too much backwards, then you really want to put the chin a tiny bit closer to the couch. On that movement of bringing the feet towards the floor, we want to activate the core muscles, we want to activate the booty and reach forward and down. At the same time, we want to relax the upper back, relax those muscles and enjoy the pose. So how was that? For the breathing. The breathing, we call it, it's a straw breathing. It's very small, but it's constant. We don't want to be holding the breath. Usually when we enter in the position, you do an exhale to help you relax in the back muscles, but you don't want to run out of breath. And then once you control your breath, it's going to be much easier to get deeper and hold the position longer. And on this last round, I'm gonna help myself with the ankle weight. I have just one kilo on its foot. And yeah, we are gonna do the same exercise. If you had enough, you can also stop here. If you wanna try this variation, go ahead. Just make sure you control your body so you don't hurt yourself. And this is all for today's class. Don't forget now to do the cool down routine. The link is coming now in a couple of seconds. Thank you for joining me today and I see you in the next class. Bye.